Hello everyone, I'm Coyote Jack. I hope you're doing fine today. Well, September 26th, the Tag Park Place made an official article where, well, I show you that the Pokemon company just hired a DEI ideologue. Because the, at the end of the day, you know, it's always like this. Those companies that are in the, uh, publicly traded, the BlackRock sneaks in, invest their money, and start pushing their nonsense. But to be fair, honestly, I have to say this. It was evident that this shit was eventually going to be official, at least. The, it starts by sneaking and then expecting someone will accept this fucking dog shit and then normalize it and make it an official so they can consolidate that. For the case of Pokemon, I have to be clear. I was never attracted to this franchise other than looking at the anime. And I just saw the original seasons. But going back to this, what this means? Well, we have seen that with Pokemon Go. I have to say, I re I was just laughing my ass off when all those developers that pushed for the DEI update in that gacha game, they, well, they lost their job. But what I'm trying to say is how that update in the first place sneaking. It was fucking Nintendo in the first place. Nintendo bended the knee. Nintendo of Japan did. They they really did that. And what what else I can tell you? With the last entry that was a fucking buggy mess, I came to the conclusion. Despite this, this is going to sell. And Nintendo fan cocks, they never stop it consuming. Consumers gonna consume. And they did. And now I, I find, I find this kind of hilarious. It's hilarious to me. They, they are really bitching about this when we tried to warn them. They did this. Look, if, if this isn't official games. They push it. They push it. This pronoun, gender fluid, di homosexuality nonsense. While also they believe in a fucking buggy mess. That even corrupted your safe game. And it doesn't even have all the Pokemons. Just imagine that. A Pokemon new entry that doesn't have all the Pokemons that are just three ports from the models from the previous instances. It's like playing Forza Motorsport or Gran Turismo with less cars, despite that they are just three ported from the first iterations. Well, I, I can excuse that with cars a little, with Forza and Gran Turismo. Despite that they are licensed brands, but for Pokemons, mon uh, creatures from fiction, fictional monsters, do you find that excusable? Of course not. But what about the balance of the game? Well, I can understand that, but you can actually tweak that if you actually do your proper. Uh, properly made job, <sighs> but no, that was not the case. Look what the fucking shit hit. I'm not lying to you. Look, so gender fluid bodies. It is barely noticeable the chest. If you choose female, but it, I I can bet they were with the body type A, body type B without even. Looking at the character selection. You're challenged by Safe Horny. 
Oh man. And today then where I dress the pronouns. Even simping for <laughs> for Muslim ideology, despite that Muslims hate the fuck out homosexuality. And then this grandpa this homosexual called himself Christina and doing the pronoun she her and black Asian. At least if you were actually doing a black Asian or a dark skin Asian, you could have gone the way of Nike with Noir. That that Boluteus Bonnie girl in Nike. But no. You have to put all this shit into pronoun nonsense. And of course, challenge by second generation in Nike you safe. I don't at this point I don't know. I just read noticed the fears screenshot about seriously pushing for the illegal immigration nonsense. Look how fucking hero is just suffering. Even I, I have seen Ireland is finally pushing that back. That uh, since those fucking illegals wants to give cultural enrichment to them, Ireland said, you know what? We are going to give you cultural nationalism here. <laughs> they straight are kicking their ass because they what? You see, you have a lot of illegals doing nasty shit from failed countries all over the world going to countries that they are, they have their own issues. And they, here you have Pokemon bring you modern day politics, current day nonsense. And this is comments from Japanese people. I'm just going to read you this one. Being conscious of the foreign market is fine, but why is that every time this happens, the game souls get taken over completely? It's not a Japan against any game anymore, for God's sake. Yeah, I have said, I, I, ha, I said it before, even with Bandai Namco, they're not going to give me a cut bane to they, they, they made it clear that they're not going to give me a Soul Calibur. They are going to push their DNA nonsense to no end. And even I covered the creator of Tekken, Katsuhiro Harada, bended the knee and started attacking the accounts that I follow, that they just showed the pronoun nonsense, and specifically I attacked Learning to Love because one fucking left that grifter piece of shit, target Harada. Despite that, yeah, they they didn't mention Tekken 8, but since they he started doing that shit, well, he got pushed back. And yeah, Japanese people, uh, when it comes to the AAA, or at least the corporate market, as currently it is, they don't have no balls anymore. They, they are a lost cause. Even here, the number of black people also keeps on racing in two more games. It'll be half black characters, won't it? <laughs> yeah. At least give me a noir. Give me that chocolate, but I know you you won't. Because at the end of the day, just like I, I stated with this fucking woke left toys, they hate women. They hate women, voluptuous, good looking, sexy bodies. They want you to give you the ugly bodies they have because they want to. They want to force you to uh, have sexual attraction to them and just like, nah, I don't want to bother Gollum. Go fuck yourself. If you are doing in walk conscious way, characters end up being bland with no personality and no charm. Yeah, as always. But they never learn. The game sells overseas without any of the warnings, so why even do this? It's because of the agenda. BlackRock has a grasp with Nintendo. And I remember that SNK investor, one, the one who bought the company, it's that Saudi Arabian prince, also invested in Nintendo. I think he tried to save that company because probably he's aware of what the work agenda. Because it's, 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 it's kind of like a unicorn. That dude is a unicorn because you have Muslims 
and you know the modern Muslim ideology, especially from those third world shitholes they live in, and they because they created that for, they don't like video games, especially they don't like good looking female characters in Gacha. They will see your tat with your pawn. They will Minecraft you there. But this dude said, no, he really likes that. And I think he tried to save that company by investing some of it, but well, it's too late, at least for Pokemon. And he's not going to stop there. I can bet the next uh, Metroid game is just going to have some of Saran looking like this and having a man job. But that's all I wanted to cover up here. Fancox, Nintendo Fancox, we try to warn you. But in this case, nobody's showing sympathy for you. Because, once again, even some of your fans that actually, of the old instances, call out this shit and you turn it, your back against them. While also attacking them, insulting them. Why will defend? Why will you even have an argument in defend my hill with my god already destroyed? Seriously, your franchise is done. It's not coming back. And the fact that I saw. These Funkocks attacking Palworld and wishing for, for Nintendo to win the lawsuit. Nobody's having sympathy for you anymore. This franchise is dead, and we are just going to laugh at everyone who keeps buying this dog shit. That's it. That's all I wanted to share here with you here. Thanks for watching, and please have a good day, safe trip. And take care.